What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! We have My Chemical Romance. Yes, indeed, how about that? My Chemical Romance making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to do all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bop, do me a favor, before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Charles B, and this is actually two of Charles B's prioritized requests for the month of June for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So here you go, Charles, hope you enjoy the show. And yes, I did not stutter. I did say this was two of Charles' prioritized requests. We have another original versus cover. So we have the original song, My Chemical Romance doing the song, Helena. And we have the going against the cover done by Rolling Quartz. Uh, so it's Rolling Quartz doing their version of the Chemical Romance song, Helena. Now, have I heard either of these songs before? Uh, no, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, these do not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard at least one of these songs in passing, and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to these songs and I suddenly go, wait a minute, hang on, I recognize these songs, I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Let's see, uh, the original My Chemical Romance Helena was posted by My Chemical Romance. Yeah, shocking. And that video has 182 million views. It'll get you there. Versus the Rolling Quartz cover of the My Chemical Romance song Helena, which was posted by Rolling Quartz Official. Again, shocking. And that video has 230,000 views. It'll still get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. A link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. We'll start with the original first. My Chemical Romance, Helena, official music video. Wah, wah, wah. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! You know what I'm gonna say, so I, I'm not gonna say it. Uh, I, we've been doing this for a long time. We know what this means, so we'll just do what we can and uh, we'll hope for the best, I guess. All right, let's do this! All right, boy, let's do this!
Okay. Um, the instrumentation, guitar, bass, drums. I'm going to say something, and I really hope people don't take this the wrong way. Uh, it's very common. Another way you could say it is it's very generic. Um, I have heard, I, I, I couldn't tell you how many bands I have heard who have a very similar style, a very similar tone, a very similar sound. Uh, instrumentally, it's, I, I hate to say it, it's nothing special, okay? Um, nothing is standing out instrumentally. Having said that, I do appreciate the fact that they did go from a straight time to a halftime feel. I like that, that nice little switch up in the chorus that was very, very nice. It was very nicely done. I did not see it coming, so that was a very nice surprise. And it was very well done. It was very well executed, and it sounded really good. It didn't sound forced. It sounded very natural. So I will absolutely give credit where credit's due. The other thing, uh, the vocals. I'm digging the vocals. The vocals sound good. I, I, I like the vocals. What's happening within the harmonies, the call and response within the chorus, I, I, and in the pre-chorus, I like all of that. Um, not terribly thrilled with the lead vocalist tone. It does sound a little nasally, but it, I, I do like the direction where it's going as far as pitch is concerned, the melodic lines, the control, the support. Um, and like I said, the harmonies are really, really nice. I, I'm, I'm digging all of that. So there's some good stuff happening and there's some pretty good stuff happening. Nothing bad. Like I, I'm not hearing anything bad. Like, even the instrumentation, it's not bad. It's just, it's very commonplace. It, it, it doesn't stand out as being amazing or, or oh, I, I've never heard anything like that before or impressive or anything like that. I, I, I'm not hearing anything like that. But what they are playing and what they are doing with their instruments is solid. So I will absolutely give credit where credit's due. Um, let's keep going. Let's see where this goes. A short song. <laughs> ah! Okay. Three and a half minute long song. Perfect timing. Perfect time. There's really not a whole lot to talk about here, if I'm being honest. I've already said everything I needed to say during the course of the reaction. Um. Okay, so I'll load up the cover now. I'll, I'll load up the Rolling Quartz cover, and uh, we'll see how it compares, and then uh, then we'll get to the review. But for right now, let's let's get to that Rolling Quartz cover.
All right, here we go. My Chemical Romance, Helena, cover by Rolling Quartz. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Long ago, just like I heard you, tired again and again. Okay, dropping down a semitone. Good decision. I I like I like that. I like the fact that they dropped it down a half step. It, it sounds a little heavier. Um, doesn't quite sound so upbeat uh, like the first one did, like like the original. So that that was a good call. Um, the vocal harmonies. I think these ladies are doing it better than. Uh, my chemical romance. I think the quality of their vocals are better. Having said that, though, there is such a thing as too much of a good thing. One of the things I really liked about my chemical romance's version is their harmonies were very strategically placed, and they used them. I, I, I wouldn't say sparingly, but they used them infrequently. It, it wasn't overly used. I do feel like Rolling Quartz is overusing the vocal harmonies. I, I feel like they're, I feel like they're overusing them almost to the point of abusing them. Um, it's everywhere. It's absolutely everywhere. And when you do put vocal harmonies everywhere, you run the risk of losing the uniqueness of it, the the specialty of it. Like, oh, that's it's a special thing. You know what I mean? In the in the My Chemical Romance version, it was a very special thing because it didn't happen very often. It didn't happen all over the place. It wasn't in the verses and the pre-courses and the chorus. It was only in strategic spots. In this version, it the, the vocal harmonies are everywhere. In the verses, in the pre-courses, and in the choruses. It does take away from some of the shine, if I'm being if I'm being honest here. So I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna work. It, it, it may work against them. But then again, like I said, uh, the, 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 the detuning, the dropping down a half step was a nice touch. And I think as far as quality of vocals, I think the ladies are doing a better job from a quality, but quantity, they're overdoing it. So I don't know. We'll have to see how that all weighs out against each other. Let's keep going for right now.
I, I feel like I'm going to say the exact same things about there's going to be, okay, there's going to be a lot of similar things I'm going to say about both versions. Um, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the reviews and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was My Chemical Romance versus Rolling Quartz doing the uh, My Chemical Romance song, Helena. We had an original versus a cover. Uh, these were two requests from Charles B. Uh, for his prioritized request for the month of June for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So there you go, Charles. I hope you enjoyed the show, man. Um, okay. I know people are wondering, like, what am I going to give for a score here? Um, and, and they want to get to that. Believe it or not, the scores were very, very close. Um, and there's a reason for that. There is a reason for that. Uh, here's the thing. And, and I'm going to give the scores, and people are going to be scratching their heads going, I don't get it. But it, it when, when I tell you which one I prefer. So it, it's going to be weird. I, I guarantee you, this is, this is going to leave some people scratching their heads in confusion. Let's start with the original. Let, let's start with the original. So My Chemical Romance, Helena. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give that an 8.4. Yep, 8.4. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? I don't wanna use the word generic. I, I really don't. But at the same time, I, I do feel like that word is appropriate. Um, for the instrumentation, very common sounding uh, when it comes to instrumentation, guitar, bass, and drums. It, it, they sounded like so many other bands that I ever heard over the years. They sound exactly like them. Um, trying to incorporate that hard rock feel with a little bit of punk and a little bit of pop. And you hear a ton of bands doing this. And they and here's the thing, the formula works, okay? They, have, they I'm, I know for a fact My Chemical Romance has had a ton of commercial success. I know they have, they've had a number of songs that have, I hesitate to say overplayed, but let, let's call a spade a spade, that have been overplayed. Like you hear the song everywhere you go. So there's that, okay? They found a formula that works, they, they, and they incorporated it into their style and into their sound. And it works for them. They've had a lot of success. And I'm not gonna knock them for that, okay? I'm absolutely not. All I'm saying is this. If you're expecting me to sit there and go, oh my God, I've never heard anything like this before. Guys, if I said that, I would be a bold-faced liar, and you would all see right through me. Um, instrumentally, it, it was honestly nothing special. It really wasn't, okay? What they played was solid. What they played sounded good. I will absolutely give credit where credit's due. It did not sound bad. It just sounded like a lot of other bands out there who have had equal amounts of success that they have had. So, I mean, I, I've heard it before. So there's nothing special there. I will say, as far as the song structure goes, you know, going into that halftime feel on the choruses, smart call. Really, really, really smart call. Uh, it really helped break up the mundaneness of the song to some extent. It, it really helped get rid of some of the repetition and it did break up the song a little bit and give it something a little unique. So I will absolutely again, give credit where credit's due. Great call on their part there. The other thing I gotta say is their vocal harmonies are very strong. I, I do like their vocal harmonies. Uh, their harmonies sounded good. Uh, sporadically placed, not overly used, uh, just used in very key spots, particularly in the chorus, where if you're gonna put harmonies anywhere, the chorus is really where they should be uh, more than any other place. Like if you're only gonna put harmonies in one spot in the song, either in the verses or the pre-choruses or the choruses, the choruses are the way to go, obviously, because that's supposed to be the hook. So, and, and the harmonies will definitely add to the hookiness of the chorus. Having said that now, let's get to the Rolling Quartz uh, cover. Um, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give that an 8.3. Yep, 8.3. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? 
copy and paste, okay? I, I, I'm serious. I mean, everything I just said about the My Chemical Romance song, copy and paste, okay? Seriously. Um, with a couple of key differences. Um, and the key differences happen in the guitar tone. Their guitar tone wasn't quite as thick. It wasn't quite as chunky as My Chemical Romance's. It was a little thinner, a little hollower. Uh, a little more of a punk feel. And it sounded good, don't get me wrong, it, it sounded just fine for what they were doing. Um, but it, it did, it was noticeable. I, I do feel like the My Chemical Romance's guitar tone was a little bit heavier. Uh, also, and, and this is the key thing, this is the, this is the main thing, vocals. I do feel that the Rolling Quartz ladies, their vocals were stronger, they were cleaner, they were more up front in the mix. Uh, their tone sounded better. Uh, I will I will give their the quality of their vocals, I think was better than My Chemical Romance. Having said that, they overdid the harmonies. I, I never thought I'd ever say that about a band, but they really did. They, they, they did the vocal harmonies way too much. I really wish they had stuck to following the format that my Chemical Romance did with their vocal harmonies, where it was pretty much, it, there, was a, there was a couple in the pre-choruses, but it stuck mainly to the chorus. They didn't have any vocal harmonies as in the verses. So, unfortunately, Rolling Quartz put harmonies everywhere. Like every other line in the verses, there was a harmony. The pre-choruses had the harmonies. The choruses had the harmonies even more than My Chemical Romance did. There is such a thing as too much of a good thing. So while I do agree and I do see the value of the quality of the vocals were better with Rolling Quartz, the quantity was far better with My Chemical Romance. So if you're gonna ask me now, between the two, I gave, I gave My Chemical Romance an 8.4 and I gave Rolling Quartz an 8.3. Which one do I prefer? I'm, I'm gonna be honest, guys. Um, if I have to choose between the two, I, I'm, I'm gonna go with My Chemical Romance. I, I'm, I'm gonna go with the original. I think the original sounded better. It sounded thicker. It sounded heavier. Uh, despite the fact that I did like the fact that Rolling Quartz dropped it down a half step, I, I, I liked that approach. I really wish My Chemical Romance had done that. Uh, it might have sounded a little bit heavier, but uh, in either in it, beside, but that's beside the point. Um, what really did it for me, leaning more toward My Chemical Romance, was the amount of harmonies. Uh, Rolling Quartz, I, I do believe Rolling Quartz's vocal quality was better, but it's just they really overdid on the harmonies. They really did. So I, I got to go with the original. Sorry. So that's my opinion. That's my vote. I would, I'm leaning toward My Chemical Romance. But My Chemical Romance is getting an 8.4 for Helena. Rolling Quartz with their cover of Helena gets an 8.3. So an 8.4 for the original, 8.3 for the cover. Final scores, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys wanna like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys wanna ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's gonna do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.